Beijing's traffic has always been a headache to commuters. To many people, as long as the traffic is moving, even slowly, they're quite content. It's the worst during morning and evening rush hours. Right now, it's not really that bad. I think the government should apply the odd-even license plate rule in the future to reduce cars on the road. Other restriction measures don't really work these days. At the moment, privately owned cars in Beijing are only allowed on the road four out of five workdays during the day every week to relieve traffic congestion. But there are already five and a half million vehicles in the capital, far exceeding the road's capacity. To mark the car-free day, many major cities such as Beijing have called for its residents to go green on the day, providing more public transport means such as more bus routes and increased subway frequencies. But in the long run, it's also the urban planners' job to design public places that are more environmental friendly. Public transportation such as bicycle use has been encouraged in many cities. Beijing now provides more than 70,000 rental bikes that can be picked up at public stands. However, less than 20% of people use bikes as a means of transportation, compared with more than 50% two decades ago. It's not very convenient. The bikeways are always taken up by buses and private cars. It's not safe. I sometimes pedestrians work on them, and it's dangerous for them too. I think in the CBD area, there should be more shadow buses linking to subway and bus routes. Plus, I haven't seen many public bike rental stands in this area. I don't know why it is. Commuters say in order to tackle the traffic issue, city developers must consider the people's different needs in order to increase the efficiency in getting from point A to point B. Ai Yang, CCTV, Beijing.